Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. My name is Blocko, your virtual tour guide, and we are about to explore the human body. You probably can't tell right now, but we're inside the body of a giant. Luckily for us, we caught him while he's sleeping. I'm pretty sure he was dreaming earlier because his arms and leg muscles were temporarily paralyzed and he kept mumbling something about dinosaurs. So needless to say, this is a pretty cool giant. Oh no, I think he's waking up now and he's running, judging by how fast he's breathing, of course. Let's go take a look. The air this giant is breathing is flowing down his trachea and into the tubes called the bronchioles. And if you look ahead, you can see where the alveoli are located. Surrounding these air-filled sacs are a bunch of capillaries where the red blood cells pass by. The blood is capturing oxygen from the air around us while carbon dioxide is being released into the sac. And we better get out of here soon because this guy is going to exhale. Quick, let's jump into the capillary. Whew, welcome to the roller coaster that is your circulatory system. The oxygenated blood around us is traveling through the pulmonary vein to the left side of the heart. From there, it gets pumped to the rest of the body, giving the giant's muscles the oxygen they need to turn glucose into energy. And see those little molecules? That's carbon dioxide being released into the blood. It will eventually reach the right side of the heart and get pumped back over to the lungs, where it will be breathed out. And this process just keeps going on and on and on until, well, you stop breathing. Hmm, it seems like the giant has stopped running. Let's go up a little higher and see what's going on, shall we? Okay, I don't want to alarm you, but there is a massive boulder of chewed food above us, and I think it's pizza. <laughs> Definitely pizza. Not the best post-workout meal, but I approve. As you can see, the food isn't just falling down the esophagus, it's being shuttled down as the muscles in the walls contract. And if we fast forward a bit, we can see the food pass through a sphincter and into the stomach. Now isn't that amazing? Okay, now don't get too close to that juice down there. It's filled with mucus, enzymes, and hydrochloric acid, and that stuff burns. The stomach is breaking down that pizza into a liquefied consistency called chyme. Oh no, the blood vessels around the stomach seem to be closing. This guy is feeling some serious butterflies in here. Let's go find out what he's doing. Oh, it looks like he's on a date. You're probably wondering why everything is upside down though, right? Well, you see, when the light is entering the eye, it passes through the cornea and the lens, inverting the image when it reaches the retina of your eye. It's the brain's job to make sense of this information and flip the image back around. And speaking of the brain, let's go give it a visit. So back in the optical lobe is where the brain perceives vision, including the sight of this guy's amazing date. And speaking of his date, if you look closely over here, you can see the feel-good neurotransmitter dopamine being released into the synapse between neurons. It's making me so happy just watching them. Okay, let's, uh, let's give this guy some privacy and fast forward a few more hours. And while we do so, let's check up on that pizza he ate earlier. Now that it's reached the small intestine, the fun can really begin. Enzymes from the pancreas and bile produced by the liver help break down the carbs, fats, and proteins in the chyme. Any water and nutrients from the incredibly nutritious pizza is absorbed by the tiny villi and sent to the bloodstream. Now according to my thermometer here, the giant's body temperature is going down a tiny bit, which means it's about time for bed. The body and mind need to heal for the night, so we better get out of here. This was really fun. Thank you for exploring the human body with me. I'm Blacko, this has been Life Noggin, and don't forget to keep on thinking.